Brent Bishop joining us here today. So before you head to those holiday parties, consider how to keep the calorie count low by keeping your head in the game. And I, it's so much easier said than done, let me tell you. To find out more, we welcome fitness expert again, Brent Bishop, to our Thank set. You. Along with Megan, we have uh, Megan here too, who's going to be demonstrating all the workouts because I'm in heels and just not feeling <laughs> it this <laughs> morning. But let's, let's be real here because, and I was just saying to you, you know, the holiday season's starting, eggnog is starting. Um, what else do we it have? Started. It, it has started. <laughs> um, shortbread cookies. How do you actually stay inspired and, and make it out to the gym? Well, it, it does. It does start with your mind. I mean, you have to be very mindful of what you're doing. And I always tell people that the holiday season now is the time to get started on something, mm -hmm. right? Uh, if you get started now, you set that momentum for the new year. And so, one of the biggest pitfalls for a lot of people is actually lack of urgency. So, not getting started before the new year starts or making um, you know, elaborate goals that are unattainable. Yeah, it, um, it, it really can be that. So even just to get absolutely. out a little bit. And, okay, so why don't you tell us about this holiday exchange program? Well, the holiday exchange program is made to give people a visual, you know, okay. to, to what they're consuming. We're all at holiday parties, you know, we're all, uh, you know, having the odd cocktail here and there. Um, so it's, it's a program that basically shows you, here's the food, uh -huh. here's what you need to do to burn it off. Okay, so here we can see it here. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so, just one glass, there. no, two well, glasses. two glasses of wine. So here's, here's the thing. I mean, we, we no longer people Is that a pour. burpee up there? Yeah, that's a burpee. Oh. That's a burpee. Okay. Most that's times fair. we're free pouring our wine, right? So it's maybe six ounces, okay. not four. Yeah. Um, so two glasses of wine, you're looking at about 300 calories. In order to burn that off, the exercise we have here is a burpee. And you have to do 100 burpees in order to burn do off those 300 Megan calories. Do you want to have Megan to show us what a burpee Megan's is? going to show us. So she's going to put her hands onto the ground. She's going to jump back with the feet. Yeah. And then she's going to jump the feet forward and jump up in the air and then repeat. We'll go one more, so the whole, the whole thing mm -hmm. there. Good. So 100 of those at a very decent pace. Yep, that'll um, do it. It's tough. Burn it. It's tough. It's one of people's worst exercises. It, it really they, is, actually. When, like I, when I was training yeah. with my trainer, that was the one thing I said to him. Yeah. I don't care. No I'm, not, I'm just not doing them. <laughs> what are some other just easy exercises you can do? Let's utilize yeah. Megan here. And, and also sure. with your book. So we've got his book here as well. And inside what I like the most is that there's pictures. There are pictures, yes. So just some easy workouts for us that we could even do at home. What would be some of them? For sure. Uh, a basic standard squat. So if Megan goes into a squat, she's going to put her hands out just to counterbalance her body, sinking onto the heels and, uh, you know, doing 15, 30, 15 to 20 squats. Um, you can work that into your routine, doing a push-up in between. Usually what I do is I set up uh, a, more of a circuit style. Mm -hmm. So you may pick three to four exercises, mm -hmm. complete 15 reps of each, uh, three rounds so, of those. So I like that the exchange program where, you know, you, okay, you have a couple glasses of wine, you have to yeah. do 100 burpees. So yeah. what about a Christmas dinner? I mean, <laughs> come well, on. It, 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 it gives you an understanding, right, of, of yeah. what's happening there. So, I mean, the other, the other picture you have there is we're always having, like, eggnog is a big mm, thing mm -hmm. in this season as well, right? People do not understand how much calories there are in eggnog. No. It's, it's basically fat, mm -hmm. right? So you're looking at upward uh, 300, 400 calories in a glass of eggnog, and then you have a couple shortbread cookies, which could be also 300, 400 calories. You're looking at about 800 calories there. I just don't want to hear it. It's it's a lot. Okay, so if you're going to eat that, then you're what's gonna the exercise that? to the go along with that? The burn-off exercise I've provided is a high knee run. So Megan's going to get into a running position. Yep, driving the elbows back, and now she's going to pick up the pace a little bit. So that's your pace. Mm -hmm. It's a minute on, 30 seconds off. We're going to go 40 of those. Okay, well that's reasonable. It's reasonable. But it's a it lot is. tougher than you think. No, I. I <laughs> oh, I know. I. I've been there. I've got to get back to the gym. I was just <laughs> saying that today. So, uh, I mean, if we start a little bit at a time, uh, yeah. you know, before Christmas, some people don't necessarily want to go to a gym. They want to just do some of these exercises at home. Absolutely. Is it and feasible? It's very feasible. And like, like I suggest in my book is you have to go with what you're inspired mm -hmm. by, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're going to the gym for the sake of just going to the gym, don't do it. Find out what the activity is that inspires you. If it's right. outside, if it's, you know, like this is a great season for snowshoeing, skiing. Yep. Well, you once know, we get some snow. Once we get some yeah. snow. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, I mean, it's still great for running here in Toronto uh, and Hamilton. Um, so, you know, make use of that and, and figure out what inspires you and go in that direction. So, I'm really liking this this exchange program. Is some of this stuff in your book? Uh, concepts of it are in the book. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you can definitely... And how do you pick up your book? Uh, you can pick up my book by going to thethinkfactorbook.com. Okay. Uh, or you can pick it up on amazon.com as well, and it'll be uh, available in stores shortly as well. Okay. Well, thank you, Brent Bishop. I like how real you are. You're sending us the real message. We know we just got to start it a little bit at a time and before New Year's, right? Absolutely. That's the key. It starts up here. All right. Start thinking. All now. right. Well, you've got me thinking. <laughs> thank you so much. Let's send it over yeah. to Lori D'Angelis, who... Uh, 
well, is going to be feeding us up some drinks that we'll have to well, go for yeah, a run after. Well, yeah, you know after. what? The whole exercise thing. I